Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a four panel four up and we're gonna shift the color. You know, something I haven't done this entire time is save. And uh, I don't know if you've seen uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, the play or the movie, but um, uh, there's a character in there and the movie is played by Alec Baldwin and he has a little saying, ABC, always be closing. A good salesman is always closing. Well, you know what? How about ABS, always be saving. That way, that if you uh, if it, your computer crashes or you spill, you know, soda on your keyboard, whatever, whatever, you know, a tree falls in. No, I hope a tree doesn't fall in. If a tree falls in, you got other problems. But but uh, uh, basically, you just want to make sure you're saving a lot because you don't want to lose all your hard work. Uh, so save as. Okay, I've saved, and uh, as you can see, the jpeg.jpg has been replaced by PSD, which is the Photoshop file format. Uh, okay, uh, now we are going to um, collect all three of these layers into one folder. And so we want to um, unlock the background, so I'll just double click on it, and we will turn that. We'll just leave that layer zero. It's already a little confusing, I guess, with two backgrounds, but we'll leave BG be that and uh, layer zero will be the base layer. Okay, so let's select all of those and you simply do that um, by uh, selecting one layer, holding down the shift key and selecting the other three. And you can think, let's see if you can do, you can convert to a smart object, we can do that, but let's just throw it into a folder here. Again, we'll select those three the same way we did before and let's call that, um, upper left panel. Okay, so that is grouped into one folder. Now what we're gonna do is we want to increase the size of our canvas. So we go up to image, canvas size, and you can figure out the pixels if you want. Um, here's an easier way, just go to percentage and uh, it's just 200% on both uh, height and uh, width there. And uh, we want this to be upper left, so click in the upper left area. So that's where it will locate our work. And click OK. There we go. Now, all we need to do is duplicate this panel here. Boom. And we'll relabel it. We'll call it upper right. And hit V for your cursor, your standard cursor key, and just move it over like that. And uh, if your snap is on, it should automatically line it up. Now, if you don't know about snap, snap is right here. Snap looks for sort of general areas where you want would want things to line up. Two layers next to each other, for example, or the edge of your, uh, of your image area, or sometimes the center line. Um, okay, so upper right. So here's here is an easy way to shift the color uh, in this. Um, we can select the background and we do command uh, U like we did before and we can just hue shift. And um, a general, like uh, if we do just sort of a, um, just sort of a simple changing of the background that's even across the board. If we do uh, red, yellow, green, blue, um, it's roughly plus 55 on the hue, satch, hue saturation. So click there. And if you want to shift uh, the, the rest of the color as well, just click, whoops, just click on the head layer and do the same. And we can just do uh, plus 55 on that. And that creates that. Um, now you can see this color green and this color yellow are pretty close together, which makes sense because this color and this color are pretty close together. Um, again, you're, you can be creative here. You can go like that and do a contrasting color, whatever you want to do. You know, I think we will. Let's, let's, uh, let's uh, check out blue here, see what, see what that does. Uh, so we'll do blue there, or sort of a, I guess, kind of a greenish blue. And um, that takes care of our upper right panel. Let's do our lower left. So we'll call that, we'll relabel that lower left panel and our main cursor key is still selected so we'll just move that down there let snapping do its job and we will shift that let's go ahead and just shift that plus 55 that'll give us green and then head here let's go ahead and be creative again and let's find 
Let's find what would be interesting. Just trying to shift it away a little bit from the one above it. Yeah, let's try that. Actually, let's go. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. So we'll click OK on that and duplicate one more time. And we'll call that lower right. And Drag it over and let it snap and do its thing. Open it back up. And uh, 55 plus 55 on that. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's push that even further blue. Let's go this way. Oh, this way. Okay, so there's blue, blue. And let's shift the face. Have the wrong layer selected. Head, there we go. We'll shift that. Actually, that's kind of interesting. Maybe there. There, kind of neon y. That might be kind of fun. Or you could also go yellow. That'd be probably a little more conservative. Uh, this color and this color are looking kind of similar. It's kind of fun sometimes to, to keep the contrast going. So we will push it maybe like more like there. So. Uh, again, these color combinations, you can get into color, and if you do, that is a gigantic area in art, and there's theories on it. Um, different color combinations have different psychological effects. Um, so you can get into that as much as you want, or you can just go with something you like. So that is it. That is a four-panel simple Warhol. Um, and if you zoom in, it should really hold up and be cool. And there's 100%. I'm going to do a full screen so you can really see. And uh, has a lot of cool, interesting detail there. Uh, feels pretty authentic. Um, our methodology, uh, though digital and in Photoshop, has remained um, very true to the original techniques of the Warhol silkscreen methodology. So there it is. Um, now, if you want to... Um, uh, if you want to take this even further to the next uh, the next level, um, to a museum quality print, we're going to actually treat this and mess with this even more. So, um, if you're interested in that, uh, check out our next uh, tutorial, and we'll show you how to do that. Thanks. If you have any questions regarding this or any other video, feel free to post in the comment section, and I'll see if I can clarify. Also, if you have an idea or a style that you've always wanted to know how to do. Drop me a line and we'll see if we can't put together a tutorial and solve your creative riddle. If this tutorial has piqued your interest in Andy Warhol, the pop art movement, or modern art, click the link below to our blog and continue your investigation into one of the most culturally influential artists of the late 20th century.